What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I'll tell you what, y'all sleeping on Lunic. I know that a lot of people are, are saying that, you know, uh, Terra Luna Classic is just not going to see as much hype as it's seen. Um, but we're approaching a time period where a lot of people believe we're going to see a push. We're going to see a massive push. And to see that, you know, Terra Classic, um, or when it was just uh, Luna, kind of started or at least made this this bear market stronger right um more impactful to where so much money was being withdrawn from cryptocurrency because people were scared right they were fearful and it's okay to be fearful sometimes um be fearful while others are greedy and be greedy while others are fearful so if things were skyrocketing to crazy levels it's okay to be fearful at times there now to have to be fearful for three years is, you know, absolutely insane. It's it's just crazy. But we know that cryptocurrency flows in cycles. And we were just counting our days to when Terra Luna Classic will explode. And we're on the verge of dropping a zero, which is always a, a great deal. Over the last seven days, we're seeing some massive movement. So I want to talk to you guys about Terra Luna Classic um, and why I believe that we may see this kind of explode um, in the coming months. And I'm ready for it, right? With my um, 56 million uh, Terra Luna Classic, I actually don't know exactly how much I have. I should go over to Kraken because I do have it on Kraken. So let me log in while I'm going through uh this intro and everything so if you guys could uh make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more of these videos also make sure you check out some of the links that are down below it does help out the channel um and if you guys want to uh follow me on twitter follow me on patreon those links are in the description uh don't forget about my link for um marjax if you guys want to Check out my links for Marjex. Uh, make sure you guys uh, look at the first link in the description. Marjex is a great uh, platform. And um, what you're able to do with it is leverage trade. So if you wanted to leverage trade things like um, XRP or Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever, you can do that. You can easily do that um, with there. It, it can go all the way up to 100x leverage. And uh, you can do some others that are 25x leverage, like meme coins that are 25x leverage. Um, so feel free to check it out for yourself. It is a honestly a really, really good platform. Now, also, you can check out my link for um, uh, Trade Assist down there as well. If you guys want to start uh, trading short term and long term, uh, you can do buy alerts, sell alerts, bullish momentum, bearish momentum. It gives you an indicator that can essentially give you the dollar cost average for the long term as well. So uh, feel free to go ahead and, uh, you know, check that out as well. I'm just trying to quickly log in and, and see if um, I can show you exactly how much I have, because it's always great to show you that I'm still holding um, my Terra Luna Classic. So anyways, um, let's look at where uh this all is coming from so if we go over to uh, coin market cap and we look at my watch list it is one of the largest movers in my watch list it's up by seven percent on the day it's up by three percent in the last hour and we are dangerously approaching this drop zero level which is absolutely fantastic to see uh, we want to see it not only get to the drop zero level but you know double that and get to a um you know, even to another, right? Instead of just dropping this one zero, drop two zeros. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, but obviously that comes within altcoin season and it hasn't been altcoin season for quite some time. Um, but currently where Terra Luna Classic stands, it's at 0 0.00000984, up by 7% at a 561 million i was gonna say billion 561 million dollar market cap with 38 million dollars worth of volume up 29 percent. now we're not seeing the levels of volume that we have seen before it's just the buy volume is insanely high compared to what the average is um you're also not not seeing a, a lot of uh you know dex volume that just uh happens obviously if we can see more that's created over there and more of a reason to buy on chain then people will buy on chain and we'll see more burns that are associated with it but we also have um, the monthly burn that's coming up for Binance and uh, the reason why we are seeing this happen as of late 
and we're getting closer and closer to October, which was very bullish last year. And then for December, it was insanely bullish for um, Terra Luna Classic. So we're looking for that to be a major factor within it as well. So uh, if we go over to Kraken, just to show you my portfolio here, I did, I had a, a portfolio to where I was just managing uh, just random positions that I would buy and see what that outcome is and within all coin season. Obviously, it's not all coin season yet, but we're still seeing, um, you know, miles ahead of where we were. But I currently have uh, 54, 54.2 million uh, Terra Luna Classic. And that's at a $5,345 balance. So that's how much I do have there. I still hold my Terra Luna Classic. I just have it on Kraken rather than on the uh, Terra Station uh, wallet. And, um, you know, staking it, I, I stopped doing that because uh, I just, the validators, people know my, my reasoning as to why I did that. The validators just weren't it for me uh, and the decisions that they were making and they were just kind of being followers and not leaders so it's it's a problem with me i i would love to be a validator but i do feel like that's a conflict of interest with what i do on a daily basis um but anyways you see how much i have in um Terra Luna classic i'm still holding it still believing in it still understand that there is a firm possibility a strong possibility that not only do we see a five billion dollar market cap but we see a 50 billion dollar market cap getting this to a level of one cent meaning that my five thousand dollars ends up being worth five hundred thousand um, dollars and that's a strong possibility when you talk about projects that are out there that have no value at all right you talk about meme coins that just have the popularity and Terra Luna Classic has a strong level of popularity as well so seeing the the believers seeing the people that are investing into um, these projects and knowing that this could be even bigger than just getting to a level of a penny, there's so much room for growth that uh, it just excites me. It excites me a lot um, for where this can go and how much this could be worth. Um, so I want to know what you guys think about Terra Luna Classic. But if we uh, look at the history for the last seven days, again, it's up by 17.5%. So this has definitely made a decently sized move getting up to the uh point where it looks like it's gonna break um or drop a zero and then getting getting up to this point where it's very very close to dropping a zero to where it's at right now which is insanely close to dropping that zero um which again right now it's up by eight percent eight point one one percent um and we're getting close we're right there to uh dropping that zero maybe it'll happen on this video that would be fantastic but if we look at the last month it's up by 21 percent. the last year it's up by 57 percent from the low level that we had here and you see what happened here towards the same time that we're at now we're talking about october it, it was kind of you know steady it was increasing a little bit but you see uh november hit it increased uh, drop back down but then once you know you got to december the beginning of december boom everything hit it just started to uh, rise it got up to a um a 2.7 percent of a penny level which is again phenomenal to see that level of growth from where it was to where it ended up getting to and people made money from this um short term and i think um uh, if you did and you were able to reinvest or something at the lower end, for me, my cost basis is so low, it doesn't make sense for me to do that and kind of mess up my cost basis. I could add more and then, you know, see in the long term, instead of gaining 500000 I can have another 5000 that's in there and I can gain a million dollars, right? Um, yes, I've already profited from this and I think it would have been a better situation if I would have taken a little bit here and put it in down here. But I didn't even want to do that, right? I want to see it uh, flourish. I want to see it get to some of these levels. And then once I do see it hit a certain exit point, that's where I start taking a little bit of profit. So uh, again, I'm excited for what this will be. I want to know what you guys think in Terra Luna Classic, how far you think this is going to go. But we're approaching that time frame to where we may see this explode. And that's where all of the hype and all the attention is coming from. So it doesn't look like we're going to get to uh, breaking uh that barrier or dropping that zero in this video i tried to kind of push it along a little bit more to see if it would but it's slowly making that move up and um 
yeah, we're getting dangerously close to dropping that zero. So if you guys could make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. Um, and if you guys want to check out my link for Marjex, that's at the top of the description. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.